So they can't order that spray 940 yet? Oh, f it, I know. He's probably still f on the phone with somebody about that shit. Probably on the phone. You'd ask them 10 days ago to order it and it still hasn't showed up. That's like that damn module blast that we we're trying to get. He's like, yeah, I seen it in the flyer, so let's try it out. Uh, what's your point of view on this whole can thing? Do you think we should be firing him or pay cut or what should be happening here? Yeah, I think Ken needs a pay cut and maybe a kick in the ass too. I'm not sure. It's a regular day at OSY. Ken is preparing for a service call while Tyler and Mike wash off a vapor tight tank before it hits the road. It looks like we got this tank washed up here that we were supposed to do yesterday because Greg figured he was going to be nice and take the vac truck on his last night and go do some shit sucking with it. So here we are sitting again waiting for 12 hours for Greg to show up and he probably only sucked out four cubes so 20 minute drives there. 20 minute drive back. So this kind of sums up Greg about in about a few sentences. It takes him about two hours to do anything. It doesn't matter what he's doing. Then this morning we finished washing the tank, got it all prepped up, she's ready to go. In nearby major Saskatchewan, it is the 10th annual Redneck Games, an annual event featuring a variety of unique activities. Well, I am the president of the Major Memorial Rink Association, and we put on all the events every year. To, we raise money to upkeep the hall and other places in town. So the Redneck Games, this is the 10th year of them. There's a slow pitch tournament, which is this is about the 30th year of the slow pitch tournament. And the Redneck Games are really a attention getter. They're, we play horseshoes with toilet seats, shot put with an alternator. Uh, you gotta throw a bottle at a sign out of a side-by-side. -side. That's about as redneck as it gets. OSY sponsors every year. There's quite a few companies in the community that donate to keep the town going, so it's been good. Oh, I'm revved up. It's gonna be a good time this weekend. We have a slow pitch team in there. Our team for the slow pitch is called the Moose Knuckles. So for the weekend, we got a few people coming to the Redneck Games. Tim's coming for the weekend. He's gonna play slow pitch with us. We're looking forward to it. The whole town gets involved. It's gonna be a good time. Right after Ken leaves the yard, he's called back to take care of one last task. Landscaping guys are showing up to seal some f***ing paving stones, so apparently that's f***ing important too. But, so, basically come back and f***ing did that. Good thing I was f***ing only gone like a mile, otherwise I would have told him to f***ing go out of his office and f***ing do it himself. But, oh well, it's the way she goes sometimes, I guess. Tannerite is a low-grade explosive where it can only be detonated by an impact. You mix two substances together, you shoot it with a gun, and it blows up. It's like, sort of like dynamite, except for it's legal and anybody can get their hands on it. And when you blow it up, it makes a pretty good boom. Larry is our crazy neighbor, who we find to be very entertaining. He stopped by this morning with quite the get-up of a vehicle. He had a crew truck, then a dolly, then a stock trailer, and then another little truck. And he told me that he was uh, hauling gold in there, and it was more than the truck could pull, so he had to push it at the same time. We're going over to Larry's place, and we're going to um, blow some shit up. Do you think we're actually going to go out there and blow something up? Oh, we're going to blow something up. That's happening. If Larry says we're blowing something up, we're blowing something up. The drill of this day is, I'm OSY's neighbor, Luckily, they liked me enough to let me play with them every now and then. And today we're gonna see what Tannerite slash OSY hot sauce and a little bullshit and aw shit mixed together can actually do. So the thing is, we're gonna put a barrel on there and we're gonna add a little spice, a little recipe, and we're gonna shoot a gun from approximately three feet that way. And uh, we're gonna just see what happens. I expect the results that I've gotten from that hot sauce so far is 
it's potent. There's gonna be a little Hiroshima going straight up if we add enough. So that's what I think, Dallas. Good. Yeah. Well, we're excited. This is how you kick off the redneck games. It is. We're not true rednecks, but every now and then, fake it till you make it, right? That's it. <laughs> what do you think, Tim? You seen this shit done before? Not live, no. Oh. Just on the internet. Okay. I don't get off the pavement much. Mm -hmm. And I feel way off the pavement right now. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even feel close to pay, but... <laughs> <laughs> Back in town, Dallas and Tim get to work cooking steaks, and they struggle to keep up with demand. So we got the whole shit yeah crew, as an OSY crew, here, uh, f***ing barbecue and some steaks. And, uh, yeah, Dallas is f***ing late, that's why everybody's just hungry and a bird. Everybody wants a medium well. That was that one. That's good. All right, a winner. <laughs> the steaks have all been consumed, and the undefeated Moose Knuckles play their first game and look to, at the very least, put the ball in play. Will the OSY crew actually see an explosion? Will Dallas finally get a hit? Will this guy stop being a dickhead? Tune in next week to find out. <laughs>